Ladies and gentlemen, this is Yanko Maceda, founder of Tabanero Cigars, and we are here in Ybor City. Used to be cigar capital of the world, but who knows, we probably can bring it back. And today is in a special day because we are going to be talking about our new Toro Conérico. Toro Conérico, some people would say mild to medium, I would say medium. So let's not take too much time on introducing myself and let's go ahead and light up a beautiful Toro Conérico. Ecuadorian Connecticut rapper, Condega, Umetepe, Jalapa, and Esteli. An amazing cigar. Let's do it. So far, so good. I'm right in the beginning. Really nice tones. That Condega always give you that nutmeg through your nose. And I learned that word by Steve Stanberger. I was trying to figure it out what was the almond or flavor or, and he said, yeah, because nutmeg. I said, oh, there you go. It's definitely there. And you pick it up through your nose. The enjoyment of craftsmanship that allows you to stop time, reflect on life, and plan the future ahead. That is the why we make cigars. I am so far really impressed. This is a cigar that can put you to dream because you have about an hour of a smoking time. Well capped cigar, perfect draw. Pages Cigar Factory down in Esteli believe on new technology and he has the drop master machine just the same way we have it here. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Wow. With a little bit of retro hell, you can pick the Esteli. Is there? Wow! You'll be confused with this Connecticut Toro because you are assuming having a lighter wrapper. It's going to be a pretty mild cigar, but it's not. It's not. So the um, surprising effect. It would definitely make a good experience having a Toro Conérico, Maceda Toro Conérico, because it was uh, blended with the intentions to get you by surprise. I'm in love with it, I'm in love with it. It's definitely one of those cigars that I can finish, keep drinking my wine, my, I, I would do wine with this, you know that I like sun grow wrappers or more Maduro wrappers going to my rums, my Cuban rums, my Guatemala rums, and of course, Bacardi. Well packed, beautiful ash. This is something that is going to be available for wholesale too. We are, I know I've been mentioning a lot on my live uh, 
my last live that we have done on Sundays about wholesale, I had a customer that he made a comment. Oh, wow, so Yanko is not making cigars in right here in Ybor City anymore. He's just going to start importing from Nicaragua. I'm not buying cigar from him anymore. I said, sir, I understand that to be able to prevail in this situation that we are right now, we need to change the strategy. So we need to do wholesale if we want this brand to stay alive. And he was pretty convinced because he ordered $500 in cigars <laughs> the next day. And he likes Connecticut. He bought a box of Toros, Connecticut, and also Robusto. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for understanding that it's things, uh, decisions that you got to make as a business owner, as a founder, to continue to go forward. It is a beautiful day. The temperature is amazing. That's why I get to wear my nice suit. You know, I'm not sweating, which I'm okay. I can change the body temperature when I need to dress up for the occasion. I remember that when I'm when I go to um, the festival, it's usually on October. Sometimes it's still a little bit hot, and clients will go. Well, oh, Yanko, you're not hot on that suit. I say, yeah, I am. But I look good. <laughs> and cigars, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Believe me, the same way wine doesn't taste the same on a paper cup that in a glass wine, cigars taste the same. They don't taste the same how you dress. If you dress for the occasion, believe me, the cigar would taste better. If you smoke the cigar on the place of birth, in the factory, it would taste different. Some customers will buy a cigar here, smoke them here, they get home, light up the same cigar, and they go, wow, this not taste the same. Of course, it's not the same experience. The experience that you're gonna have here, is not the same experience taking the cigar out of the equation, out of the place of birth. It's behaving beautifully. The wrapper's burning even. Nice well-packed ash, and the draw is perfect. They doing cigar boxes, and I have some technology on those cigar boxes, so let me tell the guy. Tiene que conectarlo a la corriente y darle al verde. Ya está. Ponlo entonces a cortar. Ponlo a cortar primero. I love it. I love it. Every day is something different. That's why when people ask me, are you planning to retire? Heck no. I would die right here in a factory. I love what I do. <clears throat> this is an amazing uh, medium body cigar. Well crafted. I think my blend it was really followed. The instructions were really followed uh, to a newer standard. Someone, someone was asking me if I light up my original Toro made right here in Ibor next to this one if I will be able to see the difference. And I and I go, of course. The cigars made right here in Ibor, they're more artisan. Uh, the infrastructure in here. We try to get as close as we can to, to a big factory. And we put a lot of love into it, a lot of passion. We have a story behind our brand. So there's a lot of elements that makes our cigars unique. But we can blind ourselves that when you manufacture it in a bigger scale, medium scale. I would say medium. I don't think we will ever manufacture in a bigger scale because your cigars will get lost. In a medium setting, I'm talking about 60 cigar rollers, 100 cigar rollers, you still consider a boutique. But remember, when you're making cigars in here, you got three, four bells, and you're using the three, four bells 
on all the cigars that your foam rollers are making at that time. Your bales will finish faster. On two weeks, you'll be out of that batch of tobacco. You're bringing a new batch, you try to be as similar as you can, but it's not the same when you say, when you allocate eight bales to do just one cigar. The consistency will be amazing. So yes, yes, there are some advantage when you go to a bigger infrastructure to make your cigars. Now, I understand that I'll be flying to Nicaragua at least three, four times a year. I need to be present when uh, we're doing our cigars. I need to be present. I need to be involved with it. Not to supervise, not to see if things are done good. To uh, spread my energy among the people that are making my cigars. To make them feel how important these cigars are for the brand. You need to take your time with this cigar. You need to stop time. Being a Connecticut wrapper, uh, medium or mild to medium, you need to pay attention more to the tones coming out of the cigar. It's not like a darker wrapper that as soon as you light up something that has been exposed most of the crop to the sun, it's going to give you really uh, uh, pressing tones of peppery spices. In this case, it's more creamy, buttery. It's a good cigar to for midday, a good cigar after lunch. Hey, you know, playing golf, that you're concentrating on the game, and you don't want something that you gotta be paying attention too much to it, this is a good cigar. If you enjoy more of fishing, the view of fishing, and not much fishing, this is also a good cigar. <laughs> I love the noise when they're doing the hinges of the boxes. It's like psh, psh, psh. I think uh, I, I, I'm always thinking so much that I'm building tools <laughs> that they didn't, they didn't even exist before. But that uh, allows the process of making boxes faster and we can continue making boxes right here in the US. There's no secret that now that I'm gonna start going more often to Nicaragua, the next step will be to replicate the cigar box factory that we have in our warehouse, replicate the same uh, setup in Nicaragua. We will rent a building in Nicaragua with a couple of rooms that I can stay in one of the rooms. But when I take uh, team members to Nicaragua to train people down there, they can stay also in there. So the future is bright. I love it. I decide that the situation that the country is going through right now is not going to affect us in a negative way. It's going to inspire us to go keep going forward, changing the strategy, and not allowing to whatever is happening to dictate the future of the of the brand. Say what? Exactamente. Dile a él que él puede pararse de una forma que no tiene que soltar el pedal. El pedal siempre lo, lo puede tener apretado. El pedal del piso para que no haga psh, psh, Que puede tener el pedal siempre apretado. I'm training the second guy for the cigar boxes. The first guy left 
right now to be able to acquire employees is kind of like bidding on eBay. Uh, when you get a good employee and you let people know that he's good, <laughs> they will offer more money real quick and try to take it from you. It's, it's becoming pretty competitive. <laughs> I love it. You don't want to be in a race by yourself. <laughs> I want to be in a race that they give me a hard time, that I got to become a different person to be able to achieve my goals. <clears throat> do we uh, do we got to disconnect that that motor? Because if half the guess, the guess is not going to be working, I think. I understand. Not all right. Yeah, it's still off. It's still off. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. We've been enjoying the exposure of uh, past um, Super Bowl. We got a lot of exposure through... Uh, through um, NFL TV, Fox News. It was awesome. It was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a lot of support. clean palate, nothing stays lingering in your mouth, and that's what's supposed to happen with a Connecticut wrapper. Burning pretty even, ash is well packed. This cigar has been uh, sitting in our humidor in the warehouse for a little bit longer time. So you see a really nice ash, really nice burn. Well, it's, um, everything is aligning. We have a couple from Nicaragua, a couple of rollers, that they're gonna start rolling cigars right here in Tampa, Florida. We're getting ready the place that we have in the warehouse for them to stay. They're coming from Russia. They had a contract in Russia for a year. It's over. They do 280 to 300 cigars a day. They're a couple. I seen videos of way of manufacturing. I'm impressed. They were trained by my father's cigar. They worked for my father's cigar for 20 years. So amazing cigars that we're gonna be making right here in Tampa. We're taking it to another level on different angles. We're taking it another level in Nicaragua with our good industry brother Raymond Pages with his factory, and we also taking it to another level right here in Tampa. We need to keep the industry alive in Tampa. I believe we have inspired J.C. Newman to start making handmade cigars. He has a guy making handmade cigars in his big factory. So I believe that we kind of inspired them. They opened a new cigar shop right here close to us. It's a church. It's so beautiful. You got to go check it out. It's a Arturo Fuente um, retailer so you got all the office sex you got all the high-end stuff on that shop arturo fuente family has always been an inspiration for me uh to a point uh i believe uh opus sex is a cigar that separates apart because uh it's a 60 dollar cigar and i always had in in the plans i even have the labels for a patriarch brand La, la marca patriarca, la marca patriarca, and now on the trip to Nicaragua, we, we talked about it, we're working on a blend for the patriarca, and you guys going to love it. It's going to be a cigar for celebrating, it's going to be a cigar, an everyday cigar, if you are really successful in life. <clears throat> I'm thinking, you know, 
in the lines between $30 to $100 per cigar, and I'm gonna do four sizes. I'm not, I'm not competing with Opus X. Opus X has, has inspired me to set my limits more uh, out there to believe that I can do those type of cigars. The cigars that we're gonna age for at least six months, and by the time we've been selling those cigars, they will get to a year, two years. And of course, it's gonna be limited run. I'm really excited because from these difficulties that we've been experiencing on 2020, my mind has exploded. I have been finding other avenues. I've been taking things to another level with a downtime, supposedly, that we had. And downtime, I mean, we've been closing at 6 p.m. So between 6 p.m. and midnight, I had a lot of time to make boxes, to let my mind to go free. So beautiful things that happen at Tawanero. Wow. I feel good with this cigar in my hand. Yo dejé la tarjeta ahí, papi, para que el van lo lleven al garaje, porque después de las seis, ¿quieres llevarlo al garaje? ¿El van? Oh, el carro tuyo lo pusiste en el garaje, con la tarjeta. Ah, mueve el van, mueve el van. Yo me voy, no, yo me voy ya. Yo me voy en el van ya. Small business, you know, you gotta be... <laughs> Oh boy. Hmm. I have a pretty sensitive uh, palate. That's why I'm um, I'm not always I'm not I'm never looking for full body cigars. I want to keep my palate as fresh as young as I can. The same way I'm working on myself to stay young because I'm planning to last at least 120 years. Um, we get it, we got to keep the palate fresh, clean. So no full body cigar for me. The most I would do is a medium to full on rare occasions. Most of the full bodies in here are tested by my good friend Kith. He's my gauge, <laughs> my gauging friend, and my good friend. Kith is an amazing guy. Is a guy that. There's so much love in, in him. He has so many friends. Zach, can you open the door in there for Sebastian, please? We're tweaking the life a little bit. I'm doing it now on this setting. I feel bad because there are some customers that they want to sit here. But we are almost over. Guys, this is a Toro Maceda. Toro Maceda, Connecticut. Well blended, as you can see. Perfect ash is going to be soon for sale. Pretty soon. I will hold it for another 10 days. I will feel more comfortable for another 10 days. And they will be ready to hit the road. I don't want to rush things. Guys, thank you very much. This has been a busy day. We're going to keep it short. And always remember the why we make cigars. Because we believe in the enjoyment of craftsmanship that allows you to stop time and reflect on life. See you next time. Thank you very much.